just after half five in the morning. It's pretty early. Uh, interesting, let's see what this booth sells have got today. That's the main thing got me back. Thank you. So whenever you're ready, I'll put yeah. I'll probably, I'll probably will bring the car in. You, you don't care though, do you? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Ponies. God knows if they're real or fake. Big truck. Two figures are. Hey, 
pick up the ponies, you know. Sorry, mate. How much are the toys that you got here, like the ponies and the... How much would you do for them, just out of interest? Uh, ten. Uh, you do five at all? No. So, what about seven? Seven? No, ten, that's a good deal for ten. You've got loads of puns in there. All right, I'll, ta I'll take these then. Right. Just bung those in there. Put them in there, cheers. Oh, is that all you got toy-wise or? Yeah. All right then. Oh, there you go, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've got two of these already, but it's good to see. I think this is for the ponies as well, you know. Can't be a hundred percent. for a white ranger in there as well. It's always good. 10 pounds. How much are the Skylanders, by any chance? Can you what, sorry? How much are the uh, Skylanders? Um, all together, oh, what's that? Oh, lovely, sorry. thank you. Um, for the whole set, I wanted 34. Okay. Then. Thank you. Two games. Man, look at the rings. Hot wheels, look at that bad boy. Now this is all gonna be older stuff. These are the games I checked a minute ago. some pieces. Oh, that is a little stand through. Oh, Nice thing, mate. It's a cool 
boys you know their choice. Look, everyone they picked up is the winner. Look, good. 25 for the free. 25 for the free. That's cool. These two are missing their stands to them, man. How much you got for these? You know your toys, bro, don't you? Oh yeah, I like Back to the, back to the you Future know stuff. Your toys. Right, now you look like an honest man. Okay. <laughs> what would you like to give for them? Now we all know what they are, don't we? We all know what they're coming to. What uh, would you like to pay for them five pieces? I would do, honestly, 20. 25 when we dealt with uh, all right then. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it for twenty-five. Back. Yeah, I'll take it for twenty-five. Well, you buy the lot. Oh no, no, I don't. I like the Back to the Future stuff and uh, the whole thing. That's it. 
I'm yeah. not really into the Marvels, but yeah, I'll do 25 for that. Yeah. Yeah. He's in here. <laughs> yeah, some of them go for if they're boxed and everything. There's five. There you go. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Much appreciated. Cheers, mate. How much are the records? Um, yeah, they're all, all stolen from you. Don't go over there. Don't go over it. Get the rest of it to go Sorry, how much is your hose pipe pieces? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. thank you. Quite busy. For this boot sale anyway, two lanes. Look at the people waiting to get in. <laughs> Free for all. <laughs> It's called uh, an attraction piece. How much is your snow globe thing? Um, it's a little bit damaged. Um, so oh, okay. Um, oh. So piglet's ears are off. Oh, um, yeah. I've got the end of Tigger's tail. Oh, okay. But it's, it's three quid if you wanted it. How much, sorry? Three. Okay. Three quid, yeah? Yeah. There you go. I'll take that. Cheers, thank you. 
Uh, yeah, if you've got one, that'd be great. Oh, thanks. Much appreciated. I should have come prepared to be fair, but it's always the way. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Much appreciated. Thank you. Oh really? Oh wow. Too late. Selling them for one pound fifty. Is it weird? How much are these? Little bits. Just only four little bits there. Do a pound? No, two pounds. Then. All right. Cheers. Thank you. back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So it was an interesting day at the boot sale. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought I made the right decision going out early. The weather looked a little bit, you know, hit and miss. Uh, ventured out anyway, and there's quite a few stalls there. Uh, a lot of, obviously a lot of buyers, and you saw your regular buyers, which would have usually been picking up clothes, bags, fashion necessities, were just digging into Blu-rays, digging into DVDs, picking up toys, picking up gaming pieces. So when it's limited like that, it's like everyone just wants any, anything and everything. Uh, so it becomes a little bit harder, but I did pick up some good pieces. I'm gonna start off because it's on the top of the bag of what I picked up from the last uh, boot sale. Uh, and it's a strange one. I usually wouldn't have picked up and it has got a few little chips, but nothing that stands out to me anyway. Uh, no doubt when I go over it a bit more, I might go, oh, actually it's missing that, it's missing this, but 
Right, so I picked this up, guys. This is one of those Disney snow globes. Uh, and you'll see in the past, I've picked a few of these. I picked up, well, a few. I picked up one other one before the Jungle Book from a charity shop for £10. Uh, but I remember these from the 90s, late 90s, maybe early 2000s, when you'd go into the Disney... No, it would have been 90s. You'd go into the Disney stores uh, and they'd have a huge display of snow globes. And you'd just be sitting there just looking at all of them. And they were mega expensive uh, in the past as well. But they tend, I tend to be seeing a hell of a lot of them now at boot sales or charity shops. Uh, so if they're cheap enough, I'll pick them up. So the Jungle Book one I picked up from a charity shop was £10. Perfect condition. I think it sells for around £100. Uh, this one... I looked on what's sold on eBay and one sold for £129. Uh, however, this one has got its flaws. So it's got, if you can see Eeyore, Eeyore, it's not Eeyore, it's Piglet. Piglet's missing his little ears. Uh, and I've just noticed there was another bit as well. And I was like, okay, I didn't realise about that. Something's missing on the house here slightly. And then I've got a tiny bit of Tigger's tail, which just needs to go back on. But apart from that, I want to say it's all good. But apart from that, it's okay. Uh, it, it is one of these musical ones sings Winnie the Pooh uh, three pound I weren't going to leave it for three pound I weren't too sure what they were going to ask for it but yeah three pound it does need a little bit of a clean up uh, it's a bit dusty but yeah I'll take that all day for three pound so I picked that up thought that was a good buy that's from the charity shop uh, and then you would have seen so I guess that was it that was all I picked up from the second boot sale it was bloody disappointing so I paid a pound uh, to go sit in the field, just sit in my car. Uh, and I looked and there was two stalls and I thought, oh, this is going to be a little bit hit and miss. And as soon as it opened, you would have seen it was a lot. Of, it was just a free for all. So we started going in and then I didn't see anything. There's what I picked up from one store. I picked up four little toys. I think it's like a Pikachu, uh, a Magneto, a little like monster thing and then a Pikachu key ring. And the lady kept saying to me, oh, you've missed out, you've missed out. Someone's just come and brought this whole tub of toys. I give them this little tub for a fiver. So I thought, oh, okay, I'll pick up these four. They're only going to be like 10 pence, maybe 20 pence each. And then she's like, oh, two pound for those, two pound. And I'm thinking, you've told me you just sold a huge tub and I've missed this opportunity and you sold the tub for a fiver. And I've gone to her before and she just, I don't want to sound bad about it. Sometimes she just t seems to mug you off with prices. Uh, and I just thought, oh, I'm not going to have it. Like I've seen her before, where she's going, PlayStation 3 games, I've been on eBay, they're £69 each. £69 each, and it's like a FIFA. Uh, so I think she just tries to see how much she can get out of people. Uh, and she's there weekly, so she's just like one of these resellers that's there every week that just sells the same stuff. So yeah, I tend to stay away from it, but I thought I'd see how much those little bits and pieces were because I hadn't seen them there before. Uh, so I skipped to that. And then there was another one where DVDs, straight away, everyone was like on the DVDs and some man picked up like the Star Wars, loose DVDs, Star Wars for £5, which I thought was a bit much. But I think because there wasn't much there, people were just buying anything they could get their hands on. Uh, but yes, that was the only thing I picked up from the second boot sale. So back to the first boot sale. So let's go up to one of my main buyers, I guess. So uh, I've seen this guy before today. He sells quite a lot, does house clearance. I tend not to go to the house clearance guys straight away uh, because they just in the, they just make prices up. So they start they start high at the beginning of the day. And as you get on to the end of the day, I think I've said this before, everything's free, whatever they don't sell. So I don't really want to get into anything where it's a little bit of a negotiation back forth, back forth. Then they just want to get rid of it anyway, but they just want the max, max price. Uh, and you would have heard in that little clip I had where it's like, oh, you know your toys, they know, how to, they know how to negotiate, you know, they know how to hustle you. It's what they've done mostly all their lives. Uh, so I went to, I went to the, I saw this guy, to be fair, I saw it in the back of his van uh, where he had like a tub of like pops, DVDs, kind of Marvel related, pop culture related, because it wasn't just Marvel there, there's Rick and Morty, Back to the Future. So a lot of pop culture bits and pieces and I thought, right, okay, I, I, I'll wait or I'll come back. I think I, I went back there. I went back and I saw they put this tub out and I went over to it. I started picking up a few bits and pieces. Uh, and originally I had like a couple of Back to the Future figures and I had this Hulkbuster in my hand. And I put it to the side because I was digging. And then all of a sudden I looked down and the Hulkbuster was gone. Uh, this Blu-ray box set I had a Back to the Future I think was gone as well. And I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy right next to me basically just, which is fair enough, he's down 10 minutes. I'm not going to kick off over it. He just, everything I was putting to one side, he was just taking. Uh, bit slippery to be fair but it is what it is 
so I left I left it with him and just started picking up my own things and holding on to them. And then all of a sudden, uh, the guy picked up his bits and went to the guy who's the, uh, the house cleaner and went, how much? And he went £35. And I thought, oh, crap, this is going to be expensive. But just keep going through it. Don't take your mind off anything. Just keep going through. Uh, and the guy put everything back down. So I picked up that pile, uh, put it with mine, and then waited about five, ten minutes. So I cut that clip down quite a bit, but I waited five, ten minutes for it to go quiet around, not no one really buying anything off him. So I thought that's my best time to strike. Uh, and just ask him how much you wanted to know for it. And then he come over with his sales pitch about, oh, you know what you want, you want the good stuff. I was thinking it's the only stuff that's in the tub. Uh, but yeah, he asked me a price. To be fair, I mostly started too high. I started too high. And I only done that because the guy next to me, he said £35 and the guy put everything back. That To be fair, that mostly worked in my favour, him putting the stuff down, because he mostly thought, oh, it's not that worth as much as what I thought it is, uh, which definitely worked in my favour. However, when he come over, I thought, oh, I say 20 and then he said 25 and I thought, crap, he's done me in terms of I don't think he's expecting much. Uh, but yeah, I paid 25 and what I paid 25 for, so you would have seen the Hulkbuster, which I think you can sell for 10 or I think you can get six in CEX. Uh, I'll hold on to it because I've got a few of the Marvel ones just on a display. Uh, I picked up the hoverboard from Loot Crate. So this is a Loot Crate exclusive and I don't collect any of that stuff, but... Uh, so I think some of this stuff might be from Loot Crate that he had in there. And I've seen in the past he's had a lot of that stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool little... Uh, it's like a desk display, isn't it? It's got a little certificate in there, but I don't know how much that's worth. But a little uh, overboard. Only plastic. But I've seen online people go... I don't want to say they go mental for it, but they seem to sell for about £10. Uh, so I picked that up. The two that I was really interested in... Because I just want these to go on my shelf while I like, like just where I've got my bits and pieces uh, from what I remember. So one of my favourite movies, obviously, uh, Back to the Future, were these two. I just thought they looked so funky. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of Rick and Morty in terms of the way they are, the cartoony style. But yes, I picked those up. Uh, I don't know much about them, guys. They say Universal on the bottom of them. I don't know if they were by Funko Pop. I don't know if they buy a certain brand. But I just thought, you know, it's that classic, iconic, a uh, clip from the first movie in the shopping mall so i thought yeah i'm, I'm gonna have i'm gonna have those two so i put those to the pile so this is all still part of that deal for 25 uh and then i don't know if this was the last thing there was a pin badge as well guys somewhere and i tried to dig it out it's definitely in here but and then the other thing that was uh part of that deal was this uh blu-ray box set so i don't know if i've got back to the future on blu-ray yet uh but i saw this god knows how it lights up absolutely no idea I'm guessing it might need new batteries. I don't know. I just don't even know. Oh, here you go. There's a button. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. Oh, now I can't turn it off, though. So it lights up. I should have showed you it before. Right. It must just go off. But, yeah, the box set lights up with this little button here, which I didn't even know about yesterday because I could have tried that. No doubt it would have added a fiver on the price. Oh, there you go. So that's, that's pretty cool. Uh... And then there's loads of bits and pieces in here. Now, looking online, I didn't know what this should and shouldn't have in here. But I've led to believe that it should have the cartoon from the 90s. Now, it looks like this comes up somehow. I don't want to put it. Ah, oh, matey. There's nothing under there. So I'm guessing that's it. So I think I'm missing the DVD, which is gutting, really. So I've got a book. God knows what the book's about. Original art. So, something about the original art in there. It tells you how to open the batteries. It's got the code if you want it digitally. Uh, and then you've got the Blu-rays. Now, when I looked at this online, which I should have done before I picked up, really, uh, it come with, like, three DVDs of the cartoon from the 90s. Uh, I don't have that in there. I don't believe it's in there anyway, from what I'm looking at. Uh, and I've taken it apart. But... I'm happy with this anyway because I don't have them on Blu-ray. I'm more than certain I don't have them on Blu-ray at the moment. Uh, so I'll mostly just put that on my shelf. Pretty cool. Uh, so yes, all that was for 25 with the pin badge, which we haven't found yet. And then the first store you would have seen me at took a bit of a gamble. And this is it because it was a bit, there wasn't much there. And I always say, don't spend your money if you don't have to spend it. I ended up doing that myself. Uh, is some... A guy there had like just loads of little buckets, brick a brat, and then one of the buckets, it was just took the top away and there was toys in there. To me, it looked like someone had already raided the uh, boys' toys. 
so there was a few VR troopers left, a few Power Rangers, but it looked like there was a few missing. Uh, so I'm guessing I missed out there. I'm assuming I've missed out. I'm not 100% sure. Because the only toys that were left in there was, I think this is a VR trooper or a, a bug trooper. I don't know. One of these big figures. And they're all like 96. It's a White Ranger. Oh, he's got a voice thing as well, which I didn't realise. Uh, that's not working at the moment, so the battery needs changing. And it's missing the protective armour and his little weapon. Uh, he threw those in there, to be fair. And then these little guys. So, 97. I'm guessing that's some form of Power Ranger there. Another form of Power Ranger. And then this is what I thought. Is it a VR Trooper or a Bug Trooper? This guy as well. So that was all part of the deal. So guys, the deal was £10 for these little figures here. And then about, I want to say like two bags of My Little Ponies. My Little Ponies. And I picked them up because something in my head was just saying, actually, just take, Scott, you always pass up on these toys because your knowledge isn't there on the uh, girl toys. So I thought, oh, look, I'll pick them up. I don't know if they're bootleg. I don't know if they're real. Guys, here, here's the other pin badge from Back to the Future quickly. So that was in there as well. I do like that out of time. Uh, but the bits I picked up, so it, this is just a mountain of this stuff. Uh, but there's hundreds, there's definitely hundreds and hundreds of these bloody shoes. I didn't even realise My Little Pony done all these little shoes, big shoes, absolutely tons of them. Uh, so there's a little Tesco's carrier bag full of those. I don't know if these are my little pony or not, but I just picked them up anyway. Uh, but there's loads of like these little, I want to say like fences, loads of these little beds, a little cot thing. But guys, my knowledge just isn't there on it, but this was in there, so there's a, another bag full of that. Uh, another bag full of these necessities, so, and one of these, the only reason I picked this up, so one of these does say in there, my little pony. So I thought, actually, these must be the little bits and pieces that come with it. So you've got that there. You've got bits of cake, hearts, little ribbons, etc. Little feeding boxes. So that's another little necessity bag. And then as the My Little Ponies, and I'll put them in this bag, actually, as I'm going through them. Uh, so, guys, I'm not too sure. So someone was telling me, Tom was telling me, sorry, from Bizarro's Pieces, look on the feet, etc., to find out what they are. So some of them haven't got anything, and some of them have got 96 on. Uh, but I haven't really gone through them in too much detail but yeah i won't go for all these because there's bloody loads of them but again oh they're sat on the foot on this one no it just says made in china and again i don't know if they're bootleg i don't know if they're real guys it's literally picked up because i thought ah oh, let me let me have a go at picking these up and just seeing if there's any value in there asking the experts and i think tom come back like these ones this ain't going to be worth anything that's just been thrown in there i don't even know what that is Uh, but yeah, there, there's loads in there. I always try and check the feet, but it just says. So that one says CO4. So you can't really tell. I can't really tell anything on these feet, what they are. Absolutely no idea. All right, so this one's got stamps. So this one says 2002. So it's not that old, that one. But some of them have got 92. It looks like they're just all over the place. So they've got the pony stamp 90. Oh. I think that says 98, that one. So they're literally. I know the little ones definitely say 96, because that's why I picked them up. Yeah. It's got loads of these little ones that say 96 on there. But I think the ones you want are the ones like, obviously, Jeep. There's so many guys in here. So I don't even know what this one is. This one, to me, this looks like a little bootleg. They don't even look like a pony. The hell is that? Uh, but someone might go, someone might know all these. But there's, guys, there's tons, tons of ponies. Absolutely tons. I'm guessing some of them are bootleg ones. Uh, obviously, getting the time to go through them is going to be another thing. This could be the dreaded stay away from ponies. Uh, but yeah, there's just too many. But the thing I was looking at online is apparently the little dragon that comes... I don't know if he comes with a stable. There's little dragons 
where the it looks to me it looks like that's where the money is. But yeah, guys, it's like pony heaven in here. They're everywhere. Uh, and I'm assuming they were just the guy's daughters and then the Power Rangers were his sons. Uh, and I checked everything just to see if there's any more toys. Uh, but yeah. Sorry for my manhandling of the ponies. Uh, but yeah, there, there wasn't much. Apart from that, there wasn't. There's another shoe in there as well. But yeah, just loads of, loads of ponies. Definitely going to have a collection of ponies. That bag can go now. Yeah. Quite a big bag of ponies there, which are just going here for the time being. And yeah, that, so that, that was it from the boot sale. So obviously I was gutted. I didn't find any uh, games, Blu-rays, etc. You would have seen I went through a pile of Blu-rays. But you would have seen all the people around me who were just going nuts for the Blu-rays. Absolutely nuts for the Blu-rays. So I kind of just uh, left them. I got a little bit sick and tired. I asked about some Skylanders. The lady was like 30 quid for the lot. My knowledge just isn't there on the Skylanders. Uh, otherwise, I would have made, if it was a 5 or a 10, I would have taken a chance. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, pretty dire to be fair. Uh, it, but it's good to pick up toys. And I guess it, my best buyers for me, I really, I really like Back to the Future. I like these two guys. Really like those. Don't know much about them. And obviously the Blu-ray box set and the little hoverboards, and then this little guy can just go with the rest of the uh, Marvel kind of gaming pieces I've got, because I've got quite a few of these now. So I just throw them in there with the Skylanders, but I don't really know the value of what ones to look out for. Uh, but yes, that's it for this car boot sale video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please stay tuned during the week. No doubt I'm going to have a pickup video, because I've done extremely well in terms of picking up Blu-rays. So a little bit of... Uh, I guess a sneak preview. I went to one charity shop and I was like, wow, it's a pile of Blu-rays, but they're all like these Eureka, uh, oh, what are the other ones? Eureka, Arrow, uh, BFI. And I thought, this is where the values are with Blu-rays if I want to trade these in. And then literally under there was a sticker that said, oh, based on CEX prices. I was like, oh, for God's sake. But it said 50% off CEX. So I ended up going through them, scanning on my phone, and there was like half of them that were there. So I picked up, I think I picked up six, on t six in total, uh, where I would make clear well over five to ten pound from what they're selling them for. So I'd make five to ten pound trading value on, on top of that. So I was like, excellent, I'll do it. Uh, so yeah, I, I brought, I think I ended up paying 25 or 26 pound to get just under 50 pound in trading, which some people go, oh, you need to stay away from that. But I thought, if I'm going to spend in CEX anyway, I might as well just do this way because I get a bit more. Uh, cash back when I'm going to buy something. So, so that would bring my CEX total in terms of trading at the moment just un just under the £200 mark. I think I worked out I was at 192 or 194 uh, So I'm more than likely in the next week or two just go to CEX, trade everything in. Uh, and I'm not one of those ones, I can't take the voucher with me. I need to spend the whole voucher in there at the same time. So no doubt you guys are mostly go, Jesus, Scott, what are you doing? You can get more of you sell it on eBay, etc. But I just like to go into CEX and just... I've paid, I've, apart from those Blu-rays, everything else, I've paid hardly anything for. They've come in bundles or big lots, and I've just picked them out because uh, they've got high trading value. Not In my eyes, they're not desirable. It, they're like BBC BBC ITV programs or series, which I wouldn't even buy if I was at a boot, so I wouldn't even, even know to look at them. Uh, but yes, there's quite a bit, so definitely look out for that video. And then as we go into this weekend, it's bank holiday weekend. So I'm more than likely, I don't think I'm going to go to a boot sale every day, but I, I will definitely go to one on a Sunday. Mostly give Monday a miss, to be fair, because I wouldn't mind just relaxing and having a lion. Uh, but never say never, because I think one of my, the what I call my favourite boot sales on a Monday, but sometimes with these bank holiday Monday, they're a bit of hit and miss, uh, given because people are off work and they just want a day off before they go back. But I believe it's half term as well. And usually when it's half term, I believe anyway, if it's, if it, I, no, I'm more than saying it is half term. If it's half term that week where the kids are off as well, that bank holiday Monday boot sale is usually a bloody busy one. So guys, I had a bit of a shocker there. The GoPro absolutely died off just as I was about to say. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. There will be more videos like I've hopefully already said uh, coming out shortly this week. Uh, but yes, please enjoy your weeks. Stay safe and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks a lot for watching.